Hello, my name is Tara Eby, and I am currently a high school teacher at Sussex Central High School, um, where I am currently teaching animal science. I am going into my third year um, at Sussex Central and also teaching as well, but um, I do have a former five years experience by working in the agriculture um, community. So that's what led me to teaching, and here I am. Um, and also, first time um, ever creating a vlog. And um, so my topic that I'm going to address is just something similar to what I'm teaching, which is animal science and an activity um, that I've always done with my students, but um, something that I would like to adopt in the future of making it a little bit um, better and maybe easier adapted um, by some of my students. So normally in my classroom, I have my students do a project called um, Ag Issues or Current Events in the Agriculture Community. Um, and normally it's this very dry worksheet that they have to answer questions on. Um, and it's just basically summarizing the event that they re uh, researched um, in agriculture in that current event. Um, and then they just submit it. Um, normally the very first time that I give this to them, um, it's fun, you know, I have their attention, uh, but as I continue to, um, you know, share with them, um, agriculture current events, um, and things that they should really be learning about in the agriculture community, it just kind of falls off and it, you know, less attention is, um, given, um, to this topic and, um, and project. So going forward, I would like to um, put in some, you know, web 2.0 tools and things where they can do it a little bit more, um, you know, something that they're used to kind of adapt things that, you know, hold their attention all the time, such as social media and things that they are um, surrounded with all the time. So what I would like to do is actually for them to give a video response. Um, so give them a current ag um, topic or current events. So just for an example, um, it, GMOs uh, used in food. And um, before they even research this topic or research anything about it, um, I would have them do a video pre-research response. Um, so where they're either recording themselves, giving as much knowledge as they have on that, uh, whether they agree with it or disagree with it, and then have them do a post-research opinion um, where it's another video and they're giving um, information about the article that they researched, what the article said, and then following up if that changed their opinion or not. Um, so some of the ways that I will allow them to respond in video is um, as basic as Flipgrid, um, which we've also used in this course, um, YouTube, where they could be creating a video or a vlog, just like much like I am right now, um, doing a Loom or a Screencastify where they have a slide up or something, or it's just them, you know, whatever they prefer. Um, Snapchat download. I used to be very anti-social media in the classroom because I wanted to get kids off their phone. Um, but I did try it out this past year and I actually had a lot of success because the students were using something that they were familiar with and let's be honest, obsessed with. So um, I had students create a Snapchat story um, for a project that I did last year. And so I think this could be another opportunity where they create a <clears throat> Snapchat story of some kind. They download it to their phone and then they could submit it that way. Um, or also um, an Instagram reel where they're making a video um, about this pre-post opinion um, and then, you know, presenting that current event and ag issue that way. Um, so this is something that going forward, I would like to change in my classroom. Um, 2020 does not need an explanation or an introduction of why we're using more um, technology in the classroom. Um, but I'm constantly trying to find new ways to adapt technology in my classroom and taking, um, you know, not recreating the wheel and some of the assignments I have um, and the core content of them, but just trying to make them a little bit more exciting. Um, for my students in the classroom and different ways that they can present and, you know, turn in a response um, for that project. So um, this is my first ever vlog. So hopefully, um, you know, you guys have some, you know, maybe comments on um, how I can make this um, even better. So looking forward to hearing from you and, um, you know, listening to some of your vlogs as well.